Now let us learn about electromagnetic induction. We have learned about the electric motor and at the end of it I told you that if the power supply is not there and if by some means we fastly rotate that axle, what will happen? The electric current will be induced. That means there was a magnetic field, there was a power supply or the current and there was a rotating axle. These three things must be present. In case of electric motor, the two things we provided, magnetic field and power, electric current we supplied and magnetic field we provided. So the third thing was the rotation was taking place. Now suppose if I am providing the magnetic field and the rotation by some means, then the third thing, the electricity will be generated. Simple thing. And how that rotation will take place? You must have uh, heard about the hydroelectric power stations where with the help of highly high speed flowing water the generators the turbines are moved that means the rotation is given and with that high speed rotations the heavy electricity is generated okay so let us see what is the electromagnetic induction induction induce something i am putting something into something before that we will see if I have one rod over which a coil is rotated, over which one coil is there and some meter is attached, okay. Now, I am taking a strong magnet. This is A and this is side B. Now, if I am taking very strong magnet, okay, what will happen? This magnet will have its own magnetic field. Now suppose if you move this magnet, if move this magnet fast nearby, what will happen? You will see the deflection in the needle. And why it is so? Because of the movement of this movement, the current is induced in it. Similar to rotation, now what I am doing? I am doing some movement in the magnetic field. Okay. See, if you keep this fixed and keep this rod moving, the same, if, if that coil moving, the same movement will come and you will see some deflection. If you take the, if you take it to the another side, the deflection will be to other side. Or if you reverse the pole, the deflection will be on the other side. Suppose I am extending this rod. Okay. and there is one more coil to it and this coil is attached to the this I can call it as a coil 1 this is coil 2 now we have attached here galvanometer galvanometer is a meter uh, used to detect the electric current in any circuit okay the zero is here and it can deflect on the both the sides now if this galvanometer is attached to coil number two now in coil number one suppose one key is there as soon as i close the key that means as soon as the circuit is closed at that time current will flow through it and it will become steady so momentarily it will show some deflection and once the current is steady this will become zero now when i plug out the key that means when I break the circuit on that instance also this will deflect this needle will deflect and then become zero again so whenever there is a change in the electric current of the one coil electric current is induced in another coil in the vicinity because whenever the current is there some magnetic field will be generated and this will induce electricity in this coil number two this was first observed by Michael Faraday so by changing the magnetic field of one conductor induces current in another conductor is called as electromagnetic induction this will be called as the primary coil and this will be called as 
secondary coil okay this concept was uh, defined or observed by michael faraday and then he thought just i told you while uh, at the end of electric motor that three things are there one is the magnetic field one is the electric current and one is the motion now there this motion is rotary motion because equal and opposite forces now suppose this is fixed and this downward force i am applying and similarly upward force i am applying from this side equal and opposite forces what will happen the torque and so it will rotate okay so equal and opposite forces are there so or, or the we will say that a rotation is there or the movement is there magnetic field is there and electricity is there these three things are there now in electric motor we supply the current we supply the magnetic field so the the third thing is rotation which takes place but michael faraday said that because of the electromagnetic induction if you do some movement or rotation in the magnetic field it will induced electromagnetism or it will induce the current in another current carrying conductor so in this case we provide the magnetic field we provide a rotation by some means so the third thing is electric current which is induced and this gives birth of the modern generators